Hey, Jake Hildebrandt here. i uh, got a quick video here to show you the Bug Mark III. This is the third steampunk mouse I've built. Um, this one is considerably lighter than my other ones. It's actually usably, <laughs> usably light now. Um, uh, as you can see, it's got a nice little orange glow there. And it, it's fairly similar to my other ones. It's got the same button hardware and all that. These ones move a bit more and have a nice uh, tactile feel there. Nice mechanical thing going there. And scroll wheel, uh, nothing too nothing too interesting there, but it feels nice. And um, instead of middle clicking on the scroll wheel like most mice do, um, I put it in this, this thumb button here. Uh, it's just more convenient and I actually personally like it a lot better. Uh, hopefully my client does too. And let's see, we've got, got this nice uh, burgundy woven cord here. Uh, that's also new for this model. Um, I just kind of fell in love with the the, the idea of, of reddish colors with, with the brass, so I implemented that. And let's see, the really neat thing on this is you can see um, this uh, this winding key here. It's wired into the the LED on the optical mouse electronics so that um, ordinarily it's stationary like you can see you can you could pretend to wind it if you wanted to it turns freely but then when you move the mouse it turns slowly um, as if it were you know using up uh, using up its mainspring power and it was winding down and then then as you saw when, when you stop it stops as well and that's about it um, the underside is very ugly, but that's that's all right. Um, it does have a, a switch, so you can turn off the uh, the animated the uh, the motor if you like, and also a little um, oops, sorry, getting off frame there. Um, a little uh, trim pot so you can adjust uh, how fast the the motor goes. And let's see, I think that's it. I'll give you a, a close up here of of how the the button mechanism works. Sorry about the focus. Um, got a little spring to return it and then clicks into the leaf switch there. And that's about it. Alright, thank you.